Whoa, dude. What is up with that kid over there? Like seriously, dude. What is the problem? Look at him. He looks different than us. Why? Well, actually that is because he has Trisomy 21. In fact, he is not a kid, but a young adult. Yo, dude, I am totally confused, dude. Is that like a riddle or something? Trisomy 21 is also known as Down Syndrome. What syndrome? Ha. Sorry, dude, I don't get it. My son knows more than you. Let me tell you some info before I get into it. Each child gets 23 chromosomes from their mother, 23 from their father. Do you understand so far? Right on, dude. But for babies who are born with Down syndrome, they have one extra chromosome for number 21. This is a genetic disorder for babies born with an extra copy of chromosome 21. Anna. Chromosome 21, ha. Totally cool, dude. I mean, not cool to have it, but thought school that I learn, I guess. So are there different types of this totally uncool genetic disorder? The most popular and common form is called Trisomy 21. Wait, is that the... No, it is not a riddle. We went over this, remember? Oh yeah, my be dude. I totally forgot. Anyways, Trisomy 21 is a common form of Down syndrome, which is when the child has 47 chromosomes instead of 46. 95% of Down syndrome is Trisomy 21. Then what is the other 5% from, dude? Wow, I am surprised you are good at math. The other type is called mosaicism and translocation. I know I am totally smart in math, dude. I even passed first grade math. Right on, dude. But I am not good in whatever this subject is. Can you help me? I am totally stumped. When some cells of your body has trisomy 21, and the rest are normal that creates mosaic down syndrome. Robertsonian translocation may make a person seem normal physically but has a greater risk that offspring will have down syndrome because they have an extra part of chromosome 21. Speaking about physical feature, how could you tell if a person has down syndrome? There are many ways just by seeing the person. But not all the characteristics apply to everyone who has Down syndrome. There's so many, but I will just list a few due to your very low attention span. Wait, are you talking about me? Oh dude, you are talking about me, yes. Just say a couple. The palpable fissures, which are the opening of the eyes, are slanted and smaller. There are also small folds of skin which cover the inner corners of the eyes, called epicanthal folds. They also tend to be stubby with short neck, feet and fingers. And what else? Oh yes, those who have Down syndrome has small teeth, lips and nose. One last thing is that they have small ears and ear passages which are easily blocked that can cause hearing loss if it is not treated in the right way. Wow. I never knew that before. Thanks, dude. You are totally cool, dude. Do you know any other ways how this can be life-threatening other than hearing problems? The extra 21 chromosome brings multiple health problems such as heart, gastrointestinal, respiratory, vision, immune system, skin, muscular and skeleton system, and could even bring leukemia. That is totally sad, dude. Totally uncool. Yes, it's really sad. Down syndrome is a form of mental retardation, which make them aggressive. That is usually caused from frustration. Yeah, sometimes, dude. I get really aggressive like this. I'm okay. Anyways, they also have impulsive behavior and needs constant affection. Wow, I feel so bad for them. I know it would cheer us up. Jokes about genetics. Yay, yeah, dude. Um, no. Come on. What do you get when you cross a potato with a sponge? Um. I don't know. Me neither, I don't know, but it sure holds a lot of gravy. 
Ha ha, get it? Isn't that totally funny, dude? Don't you get it? Potato dot um, a sponge holds the gravy. That was a rad joke. Don't do that again. Oh, I have another totally cool one, dude. What do you get if you cross a... Stop. I don't want to know. Did you hear about the cutest baby? Totally, dude. It's Cordelia. She is one cool rad cat, dude.